Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on changing the subject of a linear formula requiring two steps. Now in a previous video we saw that changing the subject of the formula means to get a particular variable in your equation on its own. So if you want to make x the subject of this equation, it means we want to make the x on its own. And also remember with equations, it's a kind of balancing act. So whatever we do to one side of the equation, we do the same to the other side of the equation. So let's think about what's happening to x. x is being multiplied by 3, because 3x means 3 times x. Then we're adding b to it, and that got us c. And what we should do is we should work backwards. So the last thing we did here was to add b. So to get rid of that plus b, we subtract b from both sides of the equation. Now if we do that, on the left hand side, the minus b and the plus b, they're opposites of each other, so they cancel each other out. It's a bit like if I said, well if I had 5 plus 3 minus 3, the plus 3 and the minus 3 cancel each other out and you just get 5. So minus b plus b disappears, leaving 3x. And then the c minus b, you just write as c minus b. And then again, we undo the last thing we've done to x. Let me write that down. Undo the last thing done to the subject. And that's the only key point here. So, what's the last thing done to x? Well, it was times by 3. So to get rid of the times by 3, we have to divide both sides of the equation by 3. Now, if we divide the 3x by 3, that gets rid of the times by 3, because it undoes it, leaving just x. So 3 lots of x divided by 3, you'll just have 1 lot of x. And then when I do c minus b all over 3, we don't write divide by 3 with a divide symbol. We put the whole thing over 3 as a fraction. So when we put it over 3, that means divide by 3. So avoid use of the divide symbol in algebra. You shouldn't have the divide symbol in your answer. And that's the final answer because x is on its own on one side of the equation. So it's the subject. What about this second one? We want to make x the subject. It's here. Uh, let's think about what's happening to x, and then we're going to undo the last thing done to that x. Well, x was multiplied by a, then we subtracted 2b. So the last thing we did to the x was to subtract 2b. So to undo that, we do the opposite, which is to add 2b to each side of the equation. The add 2b gets rid of that minus 2b, leaving just ax. And if we add 2b to the right-hand side, we get 3c plus 2b. These are not like terms, so we can't like collect them together into one term, unfortunately. Then again, undo the last thing done to the subject, x was times by a, so we get rid of it by dividing both sides by a. And again, divide by a just cancels out the times by a, leaving just x. And with this, if we put it over a, that has the effect of dividing by a. And that's the final answer, because x is on its own on one side of the equation.